Hello everybody, my name is David. Thank you for watching CNXG. Today's video is about feelings and emotions because I talk about them a lot and some of us don't know what they are or we think they're the same thing and stuff. And um, it just, you know, I'm telling you guys, the key to healing CPTSD and the key to being in control and having success in your life is being able to control our emotions. Now, I know I always say, you know, things like, you know, be in touch with your feelings, allow yourself to feel, control your emotions. And I know it's a lot easier said than done. It's, it's pretty difficult. It's not an easy thing. But let me just please tell you some of the differences and what they are and, and maybe offer some kind of suggestion on how to begin doing this, okay? Um, in my other videos, my other CPTSD videos, I'm, I'm really, really getting down to uh, showing you guys kind of how our parents just, just neglect and little things, um, not helping us be uh, pay attention to our feelings as a child, and we stop doing that as we get older. Um, a lot of us just aren't in touch with our feelings. We don't know how we feel. A lot of us are afraid of our own emotions, and that makes them or makes us feel like they're in control. Our, our emotions are in control of us and not us in control of our emotions, which we should be. Um, so as we're born, after we're born, we slowly begin a process of emotional separation from our mother. And the mother helps us do that along the way. And awareness, we begin to be self-aware of our self and that our emotions are separate from our mother. For instance, a child is upset about something and soon the child realizes, well, my mother isn't. I feel this way, but my mother doesn't feel the same way as I do anymore. And that's kind of what the child thought, you know, kind of we're one. We are the same. We feel the same. And it, 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 to the child, it, it's, you know, it's total awareness. It's like, oh my gosh, our, we are different and our emotions are different. People with CPTSD may not have been allowed to be upset. They may not have been allowed to be happy. They were never comforted. Um, you know, it's, it's common for children to be told, you know, don't cry, don't be upset, hold it in. If we don't feel worthy of it, if we have shame and our parents made us feel like bad kids or bad people, a lot of times we won't feel okay to show how we feel, okay? Um, this, an awareness of our emotions begins our identity and our sense of self. It's consciousness. That's what consciousness is. Um, and as we become teenagers and adults, we begin to see what life expects of us. And that to us is what we say, this is what makes everyone happy. So we need to do these things. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about, you know, school, career, family and friends and marriage, you know, with relationships with people and house and get a car. We believe these are all things that make people happy, everyone else. So... That's what we need to do to be happy. And it's all external. Those things are all outside, right? Everything that you want to attain in life is external. At some point in life, we realize that these things don't make us happy. At some point in our lives, you know, in, in you, like a midlife crisis, that's, you know, we realize that, hey, all these things we were taught, all these things we were told, and all the things we knew that we had to get to be happy aren't working. It's not making us happy. And so what do we do? We distract ourselves with things like addictions. Okay. And the biggest things I'm noticing with my clients, it's not so much uh, a chemical addiction. It's things like work. And we tend to throw ourselves in our work and work long hours, work hard, take our work home with us. Things like this. Um, working out. You know, whatever it is to keep ourselves distracted on the feelings that we have. And we grow up our, throughout our lives ignoring how we feel. It seems like for some reason we have to just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Um, we believe our problems and solutions are external and they're not. They're not. Emotions are physical. Okay. Emotions are measurable. You can measure emotions by things like heart rate, breathing. You can see the affect on someone's face if they're sad or happy, right? Uh, how our body reacts is, is 
is our emotions, but the feelings is, is awareness of those emotions. So being aware of our emotions is our feeling. That's how we feel. Okay. Awareness. Um, we are all emotional. Okay. Not just some people and some people aren't emotional. We're all emotional. We have 34,000 different emotions. 34,000. Incredible. Incredible. So, but not all of us are aware of our emotions, of very many, or, or how we feel about these emotions. We don't know. Uh, a lot of people ask and they don't know how they feel. So a real disconnect there. Um, emotions are long term and feelings would be shorter. Feelings are idiosyncratic. They can be very confusing, can't they? Sometimes we're very confused by our feelings. Um, it's, but our feelings are internal. Our feelings are in here, okay? When we are aware that how we feel is us, then we can control our emotions. And once we do that, we can do anything in our lives, okay? We point fingers all the time at people, don't we? And that's how we talk about our feelings, especially our bad feelings. So we, we say, this person made us feel that way. This person did that to me. And yeah, I feel I'm, I'm so upset because this person made me upset. But listen, our feelings are from our emotions, right? Our emotions are us. Our emotions are our body, okay? Our body's reactions not someone else. And it's not somebody else doing it to us. Our emotions are our reactions of what's going on in our environment. We must own how we react and how we feel and know that it is us, not other people doing it to us. Okay. And you know, I can react. We all react differently. We all have different uh, emotions and, and, and we all have different feelings. And if somebody does something bad to me, that, that maybe it was a, maybe this person did something to you that hurt you, and maybe they do the same thing to me and it doesn't hurt me or hurt me as bad. I don't have to react that way. I don't have to feel so horrible because somebody did something bad to me. Okay? I can be in control. How do I change or control my emotions? You change your mindset. Okay? You realize that you are in control of your mindset at least, okay? If emotions are reactions, how can you change your reaction? Control your mental thinking about life, okay? You have positive and you have negative, don't you? What's gonna happen if you are around someone that's always negative, that's always talking negative, that's always being critical of other people or you? You're gonna have a negative mindset. Your reaction to things will be worse, they'll be negative, they'll be upsetting and sad, and they could be very bad, okay? Or you could have a very positive life and a positive outlook and a positive mental state. You could have um, a good, solid people around you and a good, healthy, loving environment so that these things don't upset you anymore, okay? It really, really works. Um, you can take things like anger is the best, and I made a video about why am I angry, because we lose track of anger. You take something that, it, that you're so angry about and you have to observe it. Take it outside of you. It's internal. Take it outside of you and look at it. You can give it a name. It's now an object. Okay. It, it, it doesn't make you as angry. It, your fears are the best thing to do about this. Your fears. You take a fear out and you look at it and you observe it and you say, what is this? What am I afraid of? Okay, does this serve me? Is there anything I can do about it? No. You cannot just hide your fears and just keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. It's always going to be there, isn't it? Your fears don't just go away by trying to push them away. But once you face and confront your fears, they seem to never be as bad. So it's our own emotions we build up that fear with. And, and fears become phobias if we don't deal with them, right? So we end up having phobias of our own emotions. And we don't have to. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice that all these things that happen in life, you don't really react to them that bad? That it doesn't make you anxious and upset and worried and fearful and cry all the time? Wouldn't that be great? So we start slow, okay? And we have to ask ourselves how we feel about things.
okay? And the best thing to do is not just say happy, sad, glad, because you're going to have a very, very range, short, small, small range of feelings and emotions. Explore how you feel, okay? Explain how you feel, okay? Not just happy, sad. There's so many different forms of happy. You can't just say happy for all of them. And do that same thing. When you guys are happy or excited, take that and observe it and say, what is this? This is happy and I love it. Okay? I know it can be confusing. I know it's difficult. But all of this really is what I'm saying is just build a very good, positive, loving, healthy environment for yourself. And then you will be in a better mental state. Your reactions to things will be better. Okay? By not being in touch with our feelings, we are afraid of our emotions. We are afraid of how we will react to things. We're afraid of how other people will react to things because then we're afraid of how we will react to their reaction. Okay? We need to be the master of our emotions and then you can do anything you want in life. That's how you be successful. Trust me. Okay? That's why everything seemed to work until some point in your life and it's like, boom, midlife crisis. You know, it's not working. What do I do? I don't know. This is what I thought I should do. Okay? So it's not about attaining physical things and properties and stuff like that to be happy. You have to be happy now. Happiness is not a goal. So you tell yourself, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Smile. Laugh. It works. I'm telling you guys. Okay? I'm not BSing you. This is how I did it. I did this, you know. Um, I didn't have people doing this for me. I didn't have all the texts in front of me that know how to do this. I had to just make that clear, conscious decision every day. You know, I, I bettered my life all across the board. Okay, and you do that and things start to fall in place, okay? And you don't start being scared and worried and all these things. Okay? Thanks, guys. I hope that helps. hope that makes sense. Uh, any questions you have, go down below and ask me and I'll answer them. And always, love yourself first. See you later. Bye, guys. Danny Dog Productions.